Hello, Crossroads friends. Thank you for joining us. This is a time where we're going to interview Coach Austin Matthews here at Bradley Central High School. And the reason I'm talking to him or speaking with him is because he has kind of seen a little bit of everything with Crossroads. He's been a part of, as a student, part of our Bible studies at Lake Forest Middle School, Bradley Central High School, and also as a wrestler, high school wrestler, when we started doing chapel with the wrestling team here at Bradley Central High School. And now he's a coach, so he's kind of got kind of a full, kind of a, I guess, a circle of what we we are involved with. And I'm gonna ask him a couple of questions. And I'd like for y'all to hear from him uh, about what is what he has seen with Crossroads. And Austin, let me ask you a question. As a, as a student, and as a part of our Bible studies, we study Genesis 1 through 11, Romans 1 through 8, kind of in that, that way. Uh, what is it that maybe anything stick out with you about anything about our Bible studies in particular? Yeah, so again, thank you for letting me be here, Pip. Um, no, I, I really have been, been around for a long time through the Crossroads process, but Bible studies specifically, um, as a young high school student, um, coming in as a freshman to, to here at Bradley, um, having a place to go, having a place to be around and, and model, uh, you and Amy, Miss Amy's model uh, of marriage and life and raising boys and things like that, that was probably the biggest impact that the Bible studies had on me, was seeing and being in a place to where I can be comfortable, I can be safe, I can be, I can go through these life changes as a high school student as a high school boy that I'm not necessarily familiar with yet. And um, Crossroads gave me a place where I could go and be around men like you, other students like myself that were trying to grow and learn in those uh, specific aspects of life. And like you said, it's been years ago. So um, specific Bible studies um, that, that stuck with me, I think it's more along the line of chapel that, that, okay, I, that yeah. I really, that really stick with me and that right. really, um, you know, and I, I think we'll get to this a little bit later, but I've got tons of stories about that. <laughs> yeah. I've got tons of stories yeah. about the, about the yeah. chapel, about the chapel conversations and the, 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 the messages and the stories and the things like that. Um, but what really stuck with me through the um, Bible studies at the school was really having a place to go, really having a place to be. Um, you know, it sounds bad, but I remember it being super early. But you yeah. know, yeah. you sacrifice for things that are worth it. You know, and so right. that was something that, that I had to learn early. You know, being in wrestling, you sacrifice for things that you want. And so you get up, you come to school, you, you meet with six or seven to ten guys and, and, and Phil here and Mr. Pip. And that was, that was what really did it for me was, was I, I wanted a place to be a part and be um, – to have a good role model. And that was you. So, right. yeah, so that's what uh, stuck out to me. Let me say to Austin and to you folks, please raise your standards. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I sure hope that whatever, seriously, I hope that whatever I've said or done, I hope that it's pointed to the glory of Christ. I yeah. hope that's, that's been the focus of it all. And, and one of the things that I've always told um, our students, whether it be in chapel or in our Bible studies, please check out what I'm saying. Yes. So please check out what I'm saying. And I'm not where I need to be. But thank God I'm not where I used to be. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I, those, those words truly have stuck with me. As I got into college and kind of stepped away from the Bradley program for a few years and stepped away from chapel, those two things really rang in my head often. You know, check out what I'm saying. Like, don't just go to church and listen to the preacher. Don't just go to Bible study and listen to the guy leading it like, or, or the lady leading it. Like, go get in the word and, 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 and put, some, put some effort into it. Yeah, so, regardless of denomination, we should absolutely. always be searching out the truth about this and just, you know, getting into scripture. That was what I always wanted to do was to see young men, young women pursuing the Lord, getting into God's word, encouraging them and, and uh, really building you up in your faith. That was what we were always about. Now we were always about, you know, why do you believe in what you believe? How do you distinguish what's good and what's evil? Now more than ever. Absolutely. Than ever. Absolutely. Uh, what about, is there anything else that you'd like to add as far as like, um, um, because I think that's good. What you, I, I say that I wear that out. I know. I <laughs> and as as you know, we laugh and giggle about it, but it is true. It's very true. You know? It's very true. You know, like I said, um, stepping away, going to college. You know, there were some years where I wasn't who I needed to be, 
you know? And so now on the backside of that and coming through that and those, those thoughts and things ringing in my head and the training that I had through the wrestling program of self-discipline and integrity and things like that. And then also the lessons that I got with you guys and all the different aspects of life of, you know, thank goodness I'm not that guy anymore. You know, thank goodness I'm not where I used to be. I know I'm not, I know I'm, I'm got a long way to go, you know, and, and that's truly, truly what's getting me, yeah. what's helped me through a lot of things. Right. Yeah. Well, good, good, yes, good. What about now presently, uh, you know, you talked about past as a, in being a part of our Bible studies, chapel with our wrestling team. Anything in particular as a coach that maybe you think of as, as I come here and do chapel with these Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, you're on a, a very specific stage that I can only be a part of necessarily. So we are in a public school setting. And so me coming out and just preaching my faith is not bad, but it's frowned upon. I do it often when, you know, kids ask and they lead them to questions and I'll, I'll let them, you know, I'll tell my story and I'll tell my testimony and I'll tell them the truth and things like that. But what I find as a coach to be so, uh, awesome, amazing, you know. So enlightening is that you can come in every week and share with them. And they're listening. You know, you say it all the time. It may look like they're laid back or right. not listening, right. not paying attention, but it sticks. Right. You know, and so, and you're a different voice. They hear my voice six days a week for two to three hours a day. You know, that they, they don't want to hear my voice over and over and over again. You know, you, you're in a very specific spot where, you can make an extreme, and you do make an extreme impact on these kids. You know, specifically on the girls' side of things, you know, learning to be selfless, learning to back up what you're saying, learning to check out what you're saying, you know. Um, I know that the girls uh, the past couple of years have had a small Bible study on their own outside of school. Um, I know that most of my girls go and attend a church in a place, and so, like, them coming here and hearing it again just letting everything know, hey, we're all on the same page here. Like, this is this is what changed my life. This is what changed right. your life. This is, you know, going back to Coach Smith, this is what changed Coach Smith's life, Coach Blackman's life. Like, this isn't just talk. This isn't just, you know, you're coming in here to this wrestling room and putting work in every day. Well, your relationship with the Lord is it's also work, right. you know? And so right. it, it, the parallels between chapel and the parallels between our walk with Christ into the wrestling room, are very similar right. and so I find that to be a huge impact a huge impact of uh, on these girls on these guys because right now we're doing mixed chapels and things like that but um, as a coach it makes me feel proud when when you come in and they fist bump you every one of them want to say hello every one of them want to fist bump you when you're hiding out in the top of the stands you know they come find you and fist bump you or you're walking in and out you know because they are listening. They know, and I know how much um, I know how much you've impacted my life, and so I know how much of an impact you can have on their life, and, and not necessarily you specifically. Right. But you right. you guys know understand what I'm saying. Right? The 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 impact of Crossroads, the impact of the you know, the Christ community, you yeah. know, of Jesus. Yeah. So, right. um, yeah, I, I don't want to say. Yeah, it, it's not. And I'm not correcting you. No, but absolutely. It's, it's not I, but Christ is Paul. Hundred yeah. percent. It's it's about Christ, and it's about who He is. And so, uh, and that's who I always want to be pointing the young men, young ladies. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, that's been an adjustment for me is now there's, there's <laughs> girls now. And yeah, so, no doubt. And, and they're the most, I ask a question, they're willing to speak up and share. And that's really good to see. And, uh, and I, I know a lot of times I'll have Amy come with me mm -hmm. and that's good for them to see. I'm, I, she comes because I want them to see. Yeah. And, and, and like I said, as a young man, being in this world and you know graduating in 2017 everything's this world is starting to shift in ways that it shouldn't be shifting in in our country and all these different things politically and all like you know that was it, it was super it's super to see a, a relationship done well you know obviously you tell us it's not perfect you know it's work but to see a relationship done well and a relationship done properly through Christ that's the huge, that's the biggest impact, you know, um, you know, I just got married less, uh, less than a year ago. So we're, you know, kind of talking about babies and things like that. And I keep hearing more is, um, more is caught than taught. Yeah. So seeing 
you know, seeing the way that you live your life, seeing the way that you two live your life together and seeing the way that you talk. And you talk about it all the time. If I'm, if I'm driving down the highway and somebody cuts me off and I tell them they're number one, right? And then I come in here and I start talking about how this, that, and the other, and, you know, you got to live the same life, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so seeing that walked um, is a very big deal um, for, for young for young generation, a young population of kids. And so I can't speak highly enough of, of the Bible studies, of the chapels, of just the conversations that we get to have, you know, when yeah. we're waiting on the kids to yeah, come in. Yeah, right, right, um, right. You know, there's been many a times I've walked in from class over at Lee University or anything like that, and you've been sitting in there, and I can't wait to get in there and listen to what's Pip got to say today, you know? And so there's multiple yeah. times where, where things like that have happened. So, yeah. Um, and, and trust me, folks, I don't. I really don't change a lot of what I've said over the last ten or eleven years because Scripture speaks to everyday life, and I always wanted to speak that because I think one of the best things that ever happened was they started putting this clock up here, and putting <laughs> ten minutes on it for me to speak because it made me have to share what I was going to say and say it right and say it well and to the point. Yeah. So I, I just always appreciated that and everything. And I will say this before before we wrap up. My favorite story is I'm going to get this. No, I'm not. I'm going to get it right. Is of the Siberian chief. Oh, wow. That's my favorite story. And, and, and that's my favorite. It's more of a parable, not a story. Um, and, and it really brings me to tears because you sacrifice for what you love. Yeah. You take the place. You take the place for who you love. And if you've not heard that story, ask him. <laughs> He's uh <laughs> Yeah, he, yeah. He, it, it's a fantastic yeah. it's a fantastic parable of of life and sacrifice and love. Um, but yeah, wow. that's yeah, my favorite. I know I've, I've told that story over and over and over at least once a year since I've been yes. around. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But hey, thank you so much. Of course, so thank you. God bless you, and, and uh, thank you.